Hi, this is Remy, and today I will uh, do a demo of the use of the Jenkins JSON file at Ticket5. So, what is the Jenkins JSON file? So, Jenkins um, JSON file is a configuration file that we uh, have defined at Ticket5, and you can drop this configuration file in a GitHub repo. And if that configuration file is found, then we will generate some uh, Jenkins jobs uh, for your app. Um, so let me show you an example. Uh, so we have a project. It's called Play Template. This is a SBT Scala project. And this is just providing a template that we can use when we create a new uh, microservice. But uh, the interesting part for this demo is to look at the uh, Jenkins JSON file uh, that is at the root of the repo. And um, if we look inside, we will see that um, uh, we, def we have a, a statement a build a block. This is an array and we have one um, element and we have the property type. Uh, we have SBT, SBT uh, PR, SBT PR is for pull request, and the project is running uh, on the build system using Java 7, Scala uh, 2.11. Those are the JVM uh, arguments, and this is the SBT command that we are executing. Uh, at this time, this project is uh, failing on Jenkins. And if I look at the failure, uh, so this is Jenkins, this is the output. So I see it's using, using JDK 7. And my output uh, is currently, uh, there is a, a compile error and the compile is uh, unsupported uh, version 52. And if you, if you had this error before, you, you know that this is caused by uh, uh, a Java uh, version that is uh, unexpected. And what happened here is that we have upgraded that project play template to uh, compile with uh, JDK 8 uh, within the repo, but we haven't changed Jenkins. And in a lot of company, when you want to go through uh, fixing Jenkins, uh, you might have to go through a gatekeeper uh, there might be a manual operation to update uh, the, the config on Jenkins, and you might have to change uh, that in multiple places. Here, what I want to show you is that how uh, we have automated this using that Jenkins JSON file as the source uh, of, of uh, uh, the, the Jenkins config. So now, as a, as a developer, I want to upgrade my uh, Jenkins build. Uh, so I don't have access to the Jenkins uh, configuration uh, page. I don't have any admin right on Jenkins. Actually, uh, everything on Jenkins is automated. So there is no, no need to go and edit anything on Jenkins. So what we have to do is to edit the Jenkins JSON file and change the Java version here. So I'm going to say use Java 8. And also because we use Java 8, we don't need this uh, perm size uh, argument. This is deprecated in Java 8. So let's just uh, commit this to master branch, upgrade uh, Jenkins uh, job to use uh, JDK 8. That's a good description. I commit my change. and. Uh, the, the process at SQL5 is that we have a job uh, that is uh, the S job from our repo. So I'm just going to run it manually here. Uh, this job is uh, running every 15 minutes. So at most, uh, by the time you push your file with the new uh, change, in, in this case, the new Java version, uh, you might have to wait 15 minutes uh, until the configuration is uh, updated. So here, um, I'm going to look at the output here. Um, so this uh, will go to GitHub. 
this will actually do a search on all of the ticket file repos and search for all the Jenkins JSON files and detect if in the last 15 minutes uh, some files have changed and if they have uh, will generate the job. So here we have this uh, plate template and PR and plate template master that were generated and now I should be able to run this job and uh, make sure that it is using the new version of Java. So I'm running this job. Uh, while it's running I can look at the configuration to see if that was um, updated and it's loading and what I can see here is that yeah the JDK version uh, for this job is now Java 8 and this job is uh, currently running and um, we should yeah we see in the log that is actually uh, using JDK 8 now so this has been changed and uh, hopefully this will fix the job um, so what we've seen in this demo is that um, we don't need to uh, have any gatekeeper to maintain Jenkins. We don't need to have to do any manual config. We can actually uh, configure that file into uh, the Jenkins uh, repo. And because uh, of uh, the way Jenkins is implemented using the DSL in, in our case, uh, the configuration will be automatically updated uh, for that job and there is no maintenance uh, for, for this change. Um, if um, so, so this job here should be done. Yeah, it's successful. Also, one thing I want to show is that uh, we have uh, with a multiple extension point for this uh, Jenkins JSON. So, the case that we have seen was a very simple case, but uh, we have a lot of options. We can, for example, we can run a job in parallel. Uh, so that means every uh, task defined in your job will be executed. Uh, in a different job in parallel. So here, the use case will be you on the test and you package your application uh, in parallel. So you could also divide your test in multiple uh, tasks. Um, that can make the overall build time faster. And then we have a lot of params that if you want some customization, uh, you could add, uh, let's say you want to set your email, you want to have your specific description, you want to have a specific uh, timeout, and you want to set environment properties, so you can run a shell script. Um, there are a lot of uh, extension points that we have written, so we are in a situation where um, if some developers want to have a custom uh, build on Jenkins, they should be able to uh, script everything uh, into that Jenkins JSON file, and uh, they shouldn't need any uh, any gatekeeper to go through uh, to get these changes uh, deployed on Jenkins. Thank you.